Hello, Stampers. Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you guys are all having a great Thursday. I am running just a couple minutes behind. I um, had a team meeting tonight. That was really fun. And we just got done a little before eight o'clock. And then, of course, I had to go take a potty break. Yeah. So maybe too much information. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to find myself on the screen. There we go. Oh my gosh, I got 50 people in here already. You guys are Johnny on the spot. I love it. Who do I have popping in? My screen is just coming up. I can't see anything going on until I actually get you guys up here, which just happened. I've got Kathy from Idaho. Joe's here. Linda, Tiffany, Rhonda, Marjean, Janice, Betty, Nancy, Gilmore, Heather. Holy cow. Yay, I'm sorry I'm so late tonight. It took me a little longer than I expected to get my team meeting um, presentation together. We did a one sheet wonder tonight, which was fabulous. And so I gave my team the whole um, map of a 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper. And then they, I've challenged them to use their own designer series paper and make the one sheet wonder cards with different paper, different colors, different embellishments. We used, um, let's see, we used the butterfly punch here and they can use different punches or whatever. And then I set up an album in our team Facebook page where everybody's gonna post a picture of all their cards. I think it makes nine cards and it was just, they're so, one sheet wonders are so much fun, right? We did one not too long ago with the six by six map that I shared with you. So yeah, lots and lots of fun. Hi, Haley. Hi, Connie. We've got, oh my gosh, so many people. Faith just popped in and Rose is here. Woohoo. Yeah, so team meeting went really good. And now I'm ready to share some stuff with you. So I've got some, I've got some mail. I'm grabbing my mail. You guys know I keep a lot of things under my desk. <laughs> I've got some mail to share with you. And oh my goodness, I got this card today from Linda McGee and how beautiful is that, right? So, so pretty. Yeah, and Linda says, look, she decorated the inside too. Gorgeous. And Linda says, I saw this card on the demo planning place by Sue Moore, please. Ex oh, and she says, excuse the non-stamping up embossing folder, you guys. You can use non-stamping up stuff, it's okay. I'm, I can't really see myself in my screen unless I bounce back and forth. So let me try that. Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry. Because when I'm watching, it's really delayed. Um, anyways, Sue said she had to make it for me and thank you for all that you do. I don't know if you realize how much joy you have brought us from your funny stories <laughs> to sharing this little, little Miss Val with all of us to your amazing creativeness. You are true, a true treasure and I am so glad I found your site. I am a fan forever. Linda, thank you so much. What a beautiful card. I love it. That is gorgeous. I like how they use those. Um, these are the, remember the Halloween dies? I can't remember what they're called, but they were from our um, holiday mini catalog. That's where that ornate die is coming from. Then I got this cute card. This is from Mary Hodges. Look at this. So let me go back to my other screen so I can make sure I'm putting this in the screen for you. Look at that. Is that not cute? Look how cute that is. And it says, where'd everyone go? And it says, I miss you. It's so sweet, right? And Mary says, this card could be made with Stampin' Up! products. I used what I had. Again, that's fine. The front sentiment was computer generated. Congrats, Grandma. Thanks for your entertaining and informative videos. Thanks for this cute card, Mary. How cute is that? I love it. Okay. And she decorated her envelope with a little, what is that? A pterodactyl. I know more about this than I do music symbols. <laughs> I felt like such an idiot on my video last night. You guys told me what that clef treble thing was called. And then I went and did another video for my blog hop today. And I still couldn't remember. I had to go look it up online. Like for Pete's sakes, Kelly, get a grip. Okay, next. 
I have a cutie patootie little card. Look at this one. Let me go out to my other screen so I can make sure. Oops, make sure I'm doing it right. There, oh, I am on my other screen <laughs> for Pete's sakes. Look at how cute that is. Now this was made with the ornate garden dies and the stitch so sweetly dies. And what a beautiful little baby card, right? The wood grain paper, absolutely beautiful. We've got some um, little glimmer dots here. Love them. This says, sweetest baby, so tiny, so small, so loved by all. Congratulations on your beautiful bundle of joy. This is from Jody Peterson. And this was for Haley and Jared. Beautiful, absolutely. And look what she did to the inside. Yeah, white on white. I just thought that was so classy, right? Okay, and she sent a gift. Are you ready for this? Because it's pretty amazing. Look at this. Yeah, she's got Val's name in there. She's got her birth date over here. Um, she's got the time that she was born over here. And on the flower, she stamped her weight. Is that not just incredible? I wish I could get, let me turn off some lights here and see if I can show, oh gosh, it's um, getting a lot of, there we go. Getting a lot of glare off my screen, you guys. Isn't that so pretty? Holy cow. And it's all rustic and outdoorsy with a little bit of that rose colored pink in there, the rose Rococo. I absolutely love this. Jody, if you're watching, thank you so much. Haley and Jared are just going to love this. And on the back, she wrote to Haley and Jared for your sweet little Val, Jody Peterson, a stamp above team member. She's one of my team members. Yeah, I'm trying to get the glare off. There we go. This is gorgeous, right? Jared and Haley are coming over for breakfast tomorrow. So I'm going to be giving this to them then. Jody, thank you so much. That was just so sweet. Now, Jody sent me another card too, but I'm not going to share it because we're going to make it. We're not going to make it tonight because I couldn't get it all pulled together tonight. I wanted to, but what we are going to be making tonight is we're going to be using um, the Ornate Garden suite of products. And this is, oh, let me turn my lights back on. This is um, a card that Haley designed for me. So let me get all my stuff out here and my little cheat sheet. Let's see, here's another, there we go. Here's all our bits and pieces we're gonna need. There we go. Okay, now, did you guys happen to see all three cards from yesterday that I did where I made my own stripes just in case you missed Facebook Live yesterday? I made my own stripes using the classic label punch. And that's what's at the top and the bottom of these cards. I decided I wanted striped paper, but I don't have any. And I've got Bermuda Bay, Granny Apple Green. And then for my video last night, I made Blueberry Bushel. Aren't these cute? This is the Heart of Music stamp set that is retiring, as well as the Noble Peacock foil specialty paper, the Noble Peacock regular foil paper. What else is retiring here? The stamp set. Oh, and the Noble Peacock. You guys, I didn't put the rhinestones on last night when I was live, but I have them on here now. I forgot about them. Look at how pretty. That's the Noble Peacock rhinestones too. I love this card. I just think it's so funky. That's a good word for it. So um, hang on, I'm going back out. There we go. Now I'm back on Facebook. Yeah, somebody just said they love shadow boxes. I know, right? They're so cool. So how was your day today, you guys? What's happening? <laughs> I had a really productive day. I got ready for my team meeting. That's usually kind of an endeavor because, you know, I figure people are taking their time to spend with me. I don't want to make it not worthwhile for them. And we did a Zoom conference call, and it's pretty much just like we're doing right here, except we're all on Zoom. So people get to talk to me and ask questions, and I get to talk to them. And it's just like the best of all worlds. I absolutely love the Zoom conference calling. Um, let me set this right over here. So in other news, we had some big news here today. Oh, I'm dropping things. Oh, hang on. That was dimensional. Um, 
the state of Wisconsin Supreme Court overturned the stay at home rule and said, no, you do not have to stay at home, which was interesting. And I thought, well, it doesn't really have much of an effect on me because we have the baby and we're going to kind of keep her locked down, right? We're going to keep things locked down for a while. And um, so I wasn't really like, I'm like, yeah, whatever. But a lot of people were like, woohoo. They opened up, the bars opened up last night. <laughs> Remember, I'm from Wisconsin. Bars opened up last night. There were people driving up from Illinois going to a bar in Kakana because they just wanted to have a beer and a sandwich in a bar and grill. Today, all of our local cities in my area locked it back down. So there was um, protesting in our state capitol in Madison today over the local cities locking it back down. The Supreme Court said this is like, I don't know, they said this is unconstitutional, but then the local cities said, no, 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 no. And um, I heard there was protesting at our mall, which is right down the, I mean, like I'm a couple miles from the mall. So that was kind of crazy. And I really feel bad for people because I think they got really excited that, yeah, the world's going to open back up again. And then local government said, no, 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 no. Like I said, for me, it didn't mean much because we have a brand new baby. We're going to be on lockdown. And so not much is going to change for us when they take away the state at home rule or whatever it's called. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. So, oh, thank you, Paula says the musical cards are great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, and somebody else told me that out in California, they have put their um, social distancing out to August. So like I said, it can always be worse, right? It can always be worse. Like, yeah. In other news, Manasha news, I know you guys want an update on John. Steve gave me an update this morning. He came walking in my office and he said, John did not leave for work until nine. <laughs> I don't know why I care, <laughs> but it was pretty funny. So yeah, that's what I get to deal with every day. And then Steve also informed me that he is overworked and underpaid. And I told him, I disagreed with him. Um, I allow him to live here. That is payment enough for all the work that he does. And then we had a good laugh about that. <laughs> but yeah, and I told him he needs to clean the oven. And he also gets to have me. So <laughs> I don't think there should be any questions, right? And I'm going to be working on my kit class for tomorrow. I have 680 cards to prep for. What? <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much who bought the Buy the Dot kit. Um, it's been a huge success. I'm going to be working on that and hopefully getting those out in the mail either tomorrow or Saturday. So yay, that's always exciting. All right, I don't think I have anything else that I need to inform you of. I'm glad you're up on the Menasha news now. Oh my gosh, when I was doing my team meeting, I have this little bowl of like nuts and cranberries and stuff in it. I ate a walnut and it like, like a walnut like this. And it, a little piece of it kind of was in my throat and I kept coughing and coughing and coughing. And I almost had to go outside because I thought I was going to choke to death, but I wasn't like choking, like on a big piece of food. It was just something in my throat that wouldn't let me stop coughing. Don't worry. I'm fine. <laughs> I have to grab an ink pad here. Sorry. I'm getting a little um, personal with you. Okay. I think I'm going to switch my screen over now. Yep, I think I can do that. Let me spotlight my desktop. I'm getting pretty, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with this now. <laughs> yeah. Today we had some training with Stampin' Up! And um, one of our, uh, I don't know, DDMs, Chad Williams was on and he was doing a video for us and then all of a sudden, boom, he was just gone. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Stampin' Up has broken Facebook, but it didn't break all the way because we're on tonight. So like I said, the card that I'm featuring for you tonight was designed by Haley and we're using the Ornate Garden Suite. You've got the Ornate Style and the Ornate Thanks. 
And then we're going to be using the ornate border dies. We also have, where's the other ones? I moved everything today. Oh, look, I did move it far enough. Um, the ornate layer dies. So there's two sets of dies and two stamp sets. And um, I think this goes with this and this goes with this. So the ornate layer dies. Yep, goes with the ornate, thanks. Boy, Kelly, genius. And then the ornate border goes with the ornate style. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're not gonna use these for anything right now, but I have all of my cardstock layers here. Haley did a really good job putting this together for me. So we have Old Olive as our card base. And by the way, there's also designer series paper and ribbon and, ooh, we, oh, I gotta get my gems out too. Hang on a second while I find those. Oh my Lord, what have I done with the things? Here they are, <laughs> the gilded gems. Um, old olive, four and a quarter by 11, and I've got the scored at five and a half. And then I have a piece of whisper white that's four by five and a quarter. We're gonna put this on the inside. And what I thought I'd do with this right away, before I go too much further, is I'm gonna use my terracotta tile ink and I'm just gonna stamp this big flower image just a little bit on the inside because I just think that looks so, so pretty. Just like that, that's it. I'm gonna keep the inside nice and simple but still have a little bit of decoration. You know, I'm kind of pretty anal about that. Isn't anal a gross word? Like I always think of butts. I <laughs> said too much, <laughs> but I do. Yeah, right? Ugh, icky word. All right, we're gonna clean this off. And I've got my Simply, is this a stamp? No, Simply Shammy or I don't know what it's called, but it's called Shammy something or another. If you wanna get yourself one, you can head over to my online store and just type in the word Shammy, S-H-A-M-M-Y, and that baby will pop right up and you can get one of your own. So here's our inside of our card. And then I am going to, hang on, I'm flipping screens. Then I'm going to bring in, this is a scrap of Old Olive and also a piece of Whisper White. Now my piece of Whisper White is, I can't remember, hang on. I think it's four inches wide, yep. Four inches wide by four inches tall. Okay, I should have remembered that. This is also four inches wide. This is just a scrap four inches wide. We're going to take out the ornate border dies. We're going to be using this beautiful one. And this pretty edgelet. So with this one, we're going to die cut it on this four inch piece. And you're just going to put it in here any place. You could put it all the way over to the side, die cut it, put it all the way over to this side, die cut it. When you get done with that, you're going to have two pieces that are exactly four inches wide. And aren't they pretty? Like they're so pretty. This is old olive. And then you're going to take this piece of white and you're going to, now this is four by four. You're going to run this edgelet on this end and then again on this end. And make sure you use your big shot die brush um to get all the little bits and pieces out because that works really slick right and let's get rid of that that's our scrap then one other thing i've got here is some gold glimmer paper now this gold glimmer paper is retiring you guys but it's still in the store so if you want to get your hands on it oh i know what else i was going to tell you all of these dies that were back ordered almost from the get go with this new ornate garden stuff are all back in our store. So you can still get your hands on them or you can get your hands on them again, I should say. We're going to be using the everyday label punch and I'm going to punch out a label from the gold glimmer paper. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the thanks. And of course you could put any greeting on here that will fit whatever you want to use. Here's the thanks. And I'm going to punch that out. I'm gonna make sure that I've got that centered in there really good. I'm gonna bring in a little paper cutter. 
And I'm going to trim this down. Let's see, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna trim off one side, just like that. Trim off the other side. Oh, that's a little bit too close. There we go, just like that. And then right where the little ticket corners, like right there, I'm gonna trim it off to that little curve. And I'll show you in just a second exactly what I'm talking about. There's one, just like that. And then we're gonna do the other side. Now you could, of course, just stamp this on a little rectangle. Sometimes it's hard to get those straight, right? There we go. Okay, this is going to get a little bit of sponging around it. I forgot to grab a sponge, so hang tight. This one should work great. I don't know. I always do that. This looks like it has some type of purple on it, but it's dry. So now I can use it in a different color. And Haley just put a little tiny bit of ink around the outside of this layer. Okay. And it's just going to make it pop on here a little bit. Let me close this up. We're going to find our mini glue dots, which have just, oh, no, here they are. I was going to say they disappeared because I used them for my team meeting and I threw everything in a bin and threw it off my desk so I could go see you guys. <laughs> kind of funny. Um, I like to use mini glue dots when I'm dealing with sticking something to the front of glue or um, glitter paper. Lots of adhesives just don't stick well to this glimmer paper, but glue dots tend to work pretty good. Okay, and because I cut this right out of the middle of here, it fits right back in there perfectly. So I really like that, right? All right, we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of that. I got my cowbell here. Team meeting recognition. We gotta have the cowbell going. Okay, I'm gonna do dimensional there and a dimensional there. Now there's a lot of, um, dimension happening on this card. So the other thing I wanna do is just add maybe some baby dimensionals on the edges here. Cause I don't, I don't like it when my sentiment layers flop around. We didn't need that many, but <laughs> it'll work. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside now. We're gonna grab this layer and we're gonna stamp these beautiful flowers on there. So I've got my memento ink. And I am going to stamp that right there. Oh, that turned out fabulous. Okay. Then we have a little bit of coloring to do, don't we? Yeah, because these flowers are really pretty. And I am going to use my light and dark old olive. So I always come in with a dark old olive. Now we have a little bit of time to relax and chat. How is everybody's day going? Did you guys do anything fun today? I know it's kind of hard to do fun things when you can't really go out and do anything, but you know, like that one day Steve and I drove up the lake and that's all we did. We just drove up, drove around the lake because you can't, there's no place to go eat lunch or anything, but at least we got out of the house and did that. Hey, right now in Wisconsin, well, especially right in my area here, it's um, lake fly season and it's like ginormous mosquitoes, only they're lake flies, they don't bite, but it's just as thick as gosh, a swarm of bees. I guess that's a good way to put it. It's lake fly season here by Lake Winnebago. And my stepdaughter, Anna, bought a house um, that is right by the lake and she's getting a little dose of what it's like to live by Lake Winnebago with the lake flies because they are disgusting. Like you can't go outside without getting them in your mouth. They're smeared all over her car. They're just, they're absolutely gross. And they only last like two weeks or so. And then they're all gone, they die. It's the weirdest thing. So I use my dark old olive. Ah, uh, Amy's birthday. Happy birthday, Amy. I just looked at my mess or my comments there. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> Anyways, 
So yeah, Anna's got all the gross lake flies. And I remember um, before we lived in this house, we lived over on the lake too. And the, they're just the, the most disgusting thing, the lake flies. We didn't even have them as bad because we were on Little Lake Butamore and Anna's on Lake Winnebago, which is where they're really bad. I remember one time Steve and I were driving up the backside of the lake during lake fly season. And when we got home, our car was plastered full. Like if you drive at night and you get bugs all over it, it was plastered full of um, lake flies. And when we got out of the car, the stench, it smelled like dead fish because of course they have their lake flies. And so they smell like lake and, oh, it was so disgusting. <laughs> kind of funny though, right? I don't know. We don't want that lake anymore because it wasn't that great. There's just lots of spiders and spiders make lots of webs and then mosquitoes, lots of mosquitoes and the mosquitoes get stuck in the web. So the outside of your house always looked like a mess. It was gross. It wasn't very impressive for me, lake life. But I guess every lake isn't like that where you have tons of spiders. Now remember, when you make these dark marks, you want to keep kind of coloring over them until they blend in. And then it's just like this really pretty shading, shadowing. Who is my, am I close enough? You guys need me to pull you down a little bit? What does that say? Oh, it says later. Um, hang on just a second. I'm gonna adjust you just a tiny bit. Maybe, I don't wanna mess anything up here. Let me say later. And then, there, how's that? That's about as, technical as I can get with the zoom. It's really hard to zoom these kind of, oops, is that the right one? Yeah, these programs. So I hope that helps. I think it will. Holy moly, I had a whole bunch of orders. I got Stampin' Up! boxes like crazy delivered yesterday and more today for those kids, <laughs> yeah. Did I tell you that? Steve said he was gonna file a claim against me. He might've hurt his back bringing in the boxes. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> are you kidding me? Okay, then I'm using <laughs> dark Cajun craze. That guy, he's always trying to, always trying to do something. I don't know what you'd call that, but always making a mountain out of a molehill. I said, oh, you'll be fine. Suck it up, buttercup. Yeah. The dark Cajun craze for the centers. And then we're going to do just a little bit. Haley did some really nice shading with the dark. And when you first do it, it doesn't look that attractive, you guys. Like it's kind of scary, right? Because you're like, oh my gosh, what is she doing? That looks horrible. And it does, but now I'm just going to take and kind of do the little lines that Stampin' Up! has given us to make these flowers really pretty. Just like that. And I know it's hard to see in the camera, but these are so gorgeous in real life. Okay, I think that's, that's going to be enough shading for me. I would do more, but I don't want to bore you guys. Nobody's going to fall asleep on my watch. That's what I mean. So now I'm just going to come in here with, oh, this, by the way, this was dark Cajun craze. This is light Calypso coral. And these two colors are just really nice together. And you just keep coloring until that's blended nicely. Look at how cool that looks, right? Now, if you want to, I blended away the dark center in this flower. You can come back in and color it again and it'll get, it'll get dark again. What else is happening? I'm reading your comments here. No flying bugs in Arizona, Linda says, but they have scorpions and black widows. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm out on the black widows, Linda. That kind of freaks me out. We don't have any spiders in Wisconsin that will kill you. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if black widows will really kill you, but I'm pretty sure they make it pretty sick. And we don't even have any poisonous snakes here, except over by the black, um, not by the black, but by the um, Mississippi River, which is not where I live. They do have some um, rattlesnakes over there, but not here. 
you know, I have rattlesnakes where I live. Thank goodness. That's the reason why when I was a kid, we lived in Missouri and my dad moved us back to Wisconsin because of the snakes. Can you believe that? Like, yep, family, I've had enough with snakes or leaving. And that's, and we packed up our, I feel like Beverly Hillbillies. We packed up our, our vehicles and away we went. We went back to Wisconsin. But yeah, he was having none of that. Okay, I'm just coloring. I just keep coloring this to blend in the darker colors. Oh, I think Haley did a much better job coloring these than I am. I guess that looks okay, huh? So I'm gonna get out my bigger end here so you don't have to. I just always use the smaller ends but I can use the bigger one on these. I didn't really do anything fancy with that flower. Or really this one. Look at how good I'm coloring. Wow. <laughs> you see, I'm all over the, if I don't go slow, I'm all over the place, but I just need to speed this up a little bit for you guys. Oh, Haley said the screen is blurry. It's not on my screen, hon. Hang on. Let me get a tissue. Oops. Hang on, everything's falling. Of course, it's the last tissue. So hang on, you guys. How's that look? Are you okay? My, my lens looks really clear. No, I think it's the streaming, Haley. It's not the lens on my, on my phone. The streaming is looking a little weak. I can see what you're talking about now. So thanks for letting me know. The other day I, I was doing a video or something. It's like, why does everything look like it's so muted? And here my lens on my um, my phone was really dirty. It's like all smeary. I don't know what I got on it, butter or something. There we go. Look at how pretty that is, right? Oh, I got to do a little bit more here. That blended enough. <gasps> Gorgeous. Okay. Now we're going to put our card together. Here's our card base, and we are going to take this, and I'm going to layer this right behind this layer here, okay? And so, hang on a second. I gotta kind of see what's going on here. Okay. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to attach it to the back of this layer. Oops, just a little tiny bit. Maybe I want it to, no, I want it. Now you have to make some decisions, folks. Which edge do you want up? Which edge do you want down? And I think I want this one up. So I'm gonna get out my handy dandy Amish tape. You know how much I like it, not, and you want to just make sure you can't see the tape any place on the front of your layer. And look how pretty that is, right? We're going to do that with both of these pieces. So I used that side on one. I'm going to, oh, look at how pretty that is. Yeah, this was all Haley's design. She made this and I was just in love. And I used these in a pinch. Like if I can't come up with something, they're sitting there ready for me to share with you guys because today was definitely one of those pinchy days. Did anybody want to know how many of those videos I got done that I was supposed to get done? Who can make a guess? Remember I was supposed to make nine videos. Who knows? Who wants to guess how many Kelly has completely done? I just threw in that completely part so it would sound like I did any of them. Did you catch on to that? Yeah, zero. Zero, folks. I made none. I'll get them done. Don't worry. They're not due until Saturday. Somebody asked me the other night when they were due. They're not due till Saturday. So, you know, I'm one to just draw it right out to the last second. I don't know why I do that to myself. I thought, well, what happens if, like, let's say my computer stops working. You know, I could have had it loaded up online and grab it from there, but no, if I wait till the last minute, all of a sudden my equipment fails, then I'm really out of luck. So why do I procrastinate like that? It's just maddening. It's just dumb. I don't know why. Okay. Are you ready for this? This is so, so pretty. Oh, I know. Hang on. We want to do 
a little bit of dimensionals on our flowers. Where'd my little dimensionals go? There they are. We're gonna do some little baby ones. Like we could do one on that flower. It's just gonna help with a little bit of support behind the flower layer. I noticed that Haley did that and that was brilliant. Of course, she's pretty smart. Smart cookie, that girl. Oh yes, yeah, so I told you, Haley and Jared are coming over tomorrow because Jared's going to help Steve dig out the um, area where we're going to pour cement. And so Jared's coming over and helps. So that means Haley and little Miss Val are coming over and I'm going to make homemade waffles. Homemade, like not out of a box. I don't know. Waffles and pancakes are super easy to make. I don't understand the box thing. Anywho, but I come from a big breakfast family homemade waffles with like you beat the egg whites until they're stiff and then you have to fold them into the rest. Yeah, that kind. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put this right on the front of our card. Kim and Jared are coming over for breakfast. We're making bacon and waffles. I am excited. I like to take strawberry jam and put it in a measuring cup. I make my own strawberry jam, by the way put it in a measuring cup and then add just a little bit of water and then put it in the microwave and heat it up and stir it and you have strawberry syrup. It is delightful. And I love the strawberry syrup with the waffles and then lots of bacon. Oh my gosh, I'm hungry, aren't I? Am I making you guys hungry? Everybody's saying zero. Uh, that's how much of a delay there is between what I ask you and what I see on the screen and then later. But yeah, I didn't make any videos. I'm not going to lie. It's how I roll. I'm, I'm just such a procrastinator. But I almost always get stuff done on time. Because I'm really weird about that, too. I don't like, I'm not going to be that person, you know? Once in a while, I miss the mark. But most of the time, I do pretty good. OK, I like using this. People ask me, what do you use that spatula end for? Well, I use it for a lot of things. I use it to get our stamps off of our block. I'll put that in there a little bit so I can grab onto it and take it off of our block with the spatula. I also like it for these flat sided gems. It makes it easy to pop those off of the card. And I'm using the big ones here for the centers of the flowers. And I chose those because that's what Haley did. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you it was my idea because it was not. That's what she did. That's what I'm doing. And I'm going to put this one right in here. Oh, my Lord. What do you guys think? Isn't that not incredible? Should we do an envelope flap? I'm thinking. Thinking that's a good plan. Let me grab an envelope and a scrap. Here's our scrap from last night when we were doing stripes. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so here's an envelope. And hang on, my crown is falling off. <laughs> I can't have that. I'm gonna wash my stamp again. Looks good. And ink pad right here. Da -da -da -da. I've got terracotta tile. And I'm going to just stamp this right on that flap. And then I'm going to ink it up again. Oops. Stamp it. Again. Look at how pretty that is. What do you guys think? Did she do a phenomenal job? Oh, you know what? <laughs> I missed something. She's probably yelling at me. My mom, you didn't do it right. So this middle flower, I'm like, why does hers look so much better than mine? Mm -hmm. This middle flower, she only colored with the dark Asian craze. And that really makes a huge difference. Because I'm to keep looking at her card and then looking at my card going, why is hers so much prettier than mine? So I'm just coloring in the middle one with the dark Cajun craze. Oh yeah, this is gonna be like, it just makes a huge difference. Mine looks so washed out and hers looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how pretty that is, right? Yeah. 
Okay. This is actually her card. She colors better than I do. So, so pretty, right? Oh, hers doesn't have it inside. So there, kiddo. No, just kidding. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this stamp set, you guys. This whole suite is just amazing. The ribbon, these gold gilded gems, they're absolutely incredible. And I am a sucker for edgelets, always. I will always buy the edgelets. There's just so many neat, pretty, cool things. And I just love the way Haley used these in the old olive tone on tone with an old olive card base behind that white layer. I think it's just so, so pretty, right? Yeah, so I am going to flip you back around now. I should say I'm going to change my screen. Let me go back here. I'm gonna unspotlight you. There we are. Yeah, how fun was that? I love this card. I think it's beautiful. So, gosh, it's almost nine o'clock. Isn't that crazy? I haven't even eaten supper yet. Steve said he was going to make enchiladas tonight, but guess what? He didn't make nothing. Yeah, I was choking on nuts. He didn't make any supper. That's why. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm. Edie says she loves waffles, but she can simply not make them no matter how hot the iron or how well greased. Oh, I'm trying to read. Hang on. Where did it go, Edie? I can help you. I just lost your, sorry, eating a nut. I'm really hungry. Okay, so I put mine. I put my waffles in for three minutes and I set a timer on my stove. So when I close it, three minutes, and then it goes off and I open it up. You, you only spray your waffle iron the first time you ever use it. You spray it with Pam, let it heat all the way up. Mine has a light on it. You let it heat all the way up. When the light goes off, you open it up, pour the stuff in, close it, three minutes on the timer, boom. Beautiful. I don't know what's happening with yours. It makes me sad for you because waffles are wonderful. Mm. Teresa, you can't eat waffles at all? Like, are you not allowed to have carbs? We can talk about vegetables. Okay, Teresa wants to talk about vegetables. Today, I had a cauliflower vegetable pizza. So it's cauliflower crust. I get them at Costco and they are really good because the crust is real crunchy. And then it's got, I don't know, some sauce and some cheese on it and then lots of vegetables on top. How about that? Can you have that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm looking for questions. Does anybody have any questions? Did I miss anything? I'm so delayed when I use Zoom that it's kind of a little tricky. Oh, thank you, Laura. Thank you. We're thanking Haley for this card tonight because it was all her, none of me. Well, I did some coloring. I did it all wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. I think I am going to go have, oh, I think Steve ate the rest of my pizza, so I can't even eat that. I don't even know what I'm eating. Maybe I'll have some cereal. Meh. Whatever. Fresh fruit and Cool Whip on Deborah's waffles. Good for you. That sounds delicious. Da. I'm just reading about people and their love of waffles. Yeah, Edie, I just got a brand new waffle iron for Christmas. One of the kids bought it for me because my handle broke on mine and I have to use a fork and then go like that. And, it, and then you, it, you, like your fork slips out and it slams down and the kids just, they got tired of watching me struggle with it. I didn't mind. Well, I kind of hated it, but I still loved it enough to make waffles. <laughs> but yeah. Can you still get the doc class? Yeah, it's still available. Um, if you go to my, oh, don't forget to share this video, by the way, thank you. If you go to my blog, www.asampabove.com and the right-hand column is all of my online classes. You'll find it there. Oh, Diana wants to know if Steve is mad at me because he didn't cook me dinner. No, 
think Steve's kind of worn out today. He went golfing twice yesterday because he got invited to be on a league and he went golfing with Jared earlier because they had planned to go golfing and then some he needed to fill in on a league. So he golfed twice and he rototilled the ground for the cement slab and he's just exhausted. So I think he just didn't have a lot of mojo left. <laughs> we need a waffle demo and sample set and set. <laughs> See what I can do. The pizza sounds good. You don't have Costco. Sam's might carry it, but it's called a cauliflower crust vegetable pizza. It comes in a cardboard box that's like this big because there's two pizzas in there. It's really good. Am I going to do a video on the ornate garden dyes? And those are the other ones, right? Let me look here. Ornate layers, you mean? Yeah, I've used those a couple times already. So um, yeah, Bev, I've used these a couple times now. And um, Bev, did you get to watch our team meeting tonight? The whole, um, they're used a lot of time. Oh no, oh, never mind. That was not the right dies. I don't know what I was thinking. You're very welcome. Oh, what kind? I don't know, Carol. I'm not really sure what the brand is. And I just threw the box out today too. I'll have to watch for that next time. Teresa says she can't have the syrup. Well, if you can have the waffles, you can have sugar-free syrup, right? I have some of that. Wendy is struggling using the garden edgelets. What's happening, Wendy? What is your struggle? Tell me so I can help you. And Gilmore wants my waffle batter recipe. Okay, well, maybe I will share that because um, it came with my last waffle iron, not the new one, but the old one. Yeah, and Mary Lynn, that's why Steve didn't make supper because it is stressful keeping watch on John. Not gonna lie. <laughs> and Edie says rototillers beat the tar out of folks. Yeah, I've never really used one. Okay, Susan, good night. Thank you for joining me. I know it's getting a lot, it's getting late here too. Okay. Um, Debbie, the paper pumpkin closes on the 10th of each month. So if you want the current months, like if you want the June paper pumpkin kit, you have to order by June 10th. That's the rule. And Sharon's best friend gave her card stuff. Good for you. Oh, thank you, Gerilyn. Gerilyn just answered the paper pumpkin question too. Mm, I don't have the Grace's Garden Bundle, Debbie. Sorry. I know I've had a couple of requests for that too. Okay. Oh, I see Francie's on tonight. Hi, Francie. I really miss you. Francie's one of my team members. She lives way, way, way north Wisconsin, almost in Michigan. Okay. All right, guys, I will share the waffle recipe with you and I will even take some pictures of the waffles. <gasps> yeah. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go. I don't know when I'll have pictures of this up. I'm kind of beat tonight and I need to get a move on on my kit class and go through my emails. Yay. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. And um, what's tomorrow? Friday. I probably will be on earlier tomorrow. Well, obviously much earlier than tonight, but probably earlier like during the day. So I just want to let you guys know to watch for that. I'm not going to give you a time because I just can't lock myself into all that. <laughs> I know. Have yourselves a wonderful evening. Once again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me tonight. I always appreciate your orders. You can find my blog at www.astampabove.com and there's online ordering buttons. There's um, online catalogs on there, online classes. I have a technique club you can check out. There's all kinds of information on how you can join my team and be a discount shopper with me. You can get the pre-order products out of the new catalog when you join my team. Yeah, it's a pretty cool place to be. Have yourselves a wonderful Thursday. I will see you back again on Friday. Bye-bye, everybody.